right, what's going on YouTube? Back with another video here. Today we're gonna do deadlifts. Today's Saturday, December 3rd, week 11. I think that's what week we're on. Let's see, fucking, uh, yeah, week 11. I actually did my shot today, Saturday. Usually I do them Tuesday, Friday. But I, uh, went out with some buddies for some drinks Thursday. And I was still fucking drunk the next day. Which, you gotta stay away from alcohol when you're on this shit, cause... But it was some people I graduated from college, so I had, we had to meet up, you know, we had to get drinks. Anyways, you know, uh, still feeling good. I think my blood pressure is actually going a little bit up. So, gotta watch that, gotta watch the sodium, all this shit. So, another thing too is... I just affiliated again with Larry Wheels' uh, PR supplements, so I actually ordered a shirt and the protein, and I got the protein because uh, I actually ran out of protein. Even though I'm not a big fan of protein powders, had to get that just to try it out, do a little review on it, so when it comes in, I'll post a video on that. Also, I got a shirt from his new PR supplements line. It's like the Larry Wheel Project shirt, so we'll see how we'll see how that looks when it comes in. But today I, I want to be doing deadlifts. The thing about deadlifts is I always treat it as a leg workout, so because you know I you, I always want to like push towards the ground and not really pull. So we'll see how I feel when I do deadlifts afterwards. Maybe I'll do a leg workout. If not, I'll just do like like a back workout. So depending on how I feel. So let's get to it. I'm gonna try to pull maybe close to 500 a day for a single, hopefully. If not, I'm expecting actually to pull heavier. So so we'll see. I'll probably just post the last couple sets, the last working sets, and then, uh, then we'll call it for that. So let's get to it.
bench. I was going to do deadlifts and bench. I'm actually doing incline bench, so I was doing deadlifts and incline. Also, too, it's the 2nd of December, not the 3rd. I think that's what I said in the earlier. So, do a couple sets of these. I'm going to try to hit 225 for five reps. If I got to use the reps, I will. So, I warm up, work up to that. So, get some sets in here. Again, my left elbow still kind of bothered me, so I'm gonna put on the PR elbow wraps. Then I'm gonna, for 225, I'll definitely, I'm gonna wrap up the wraps, so. But everything else feels strong, chest, shoulders, my right arm, except my left fucking elbow. So that was it, deadlifts, bench, for I guess you could call it accessories, even though that's not really what I do. It's just deadlifts, hit single leg press to get a little quad pump going, did some calf, calf, calf machines, or calf workout. Uh, two different styles of calves seated and then on the single leg press, or the leg press, you know, single leg calf extension. Then, uh, yeah, I was pretty much just doing it all over the fucking place, but for sure, bench 225, 235 for five with the wraps. Again, get yourself a pair of these wraps, man. Like, they'll really save your elbow. It's like, it's kind of like cheating, but it's not, you know, because you're still using chest. You're just not using your elbows, you know, your triceps and shit, your forearms. A lot of, you know, if you really look at it, bench, it's a lot of arms. People always think it's a lot of chest. It's a combination of everything. Chest, arms, and back, you know. Especially if you go real wide, you know. You're pretty much just opening up your lats. So, again, you know, if you go closer, then you're using a lot of tricep. If you hit that neutral spot, you're going to use that perfect stands like kind of like John Hack does you're gonna use a lot of a lot of arms but your chest too you know and personally again I think arms the bigger your arms are the stronger your bench is gonna be you could have the biggest fucking chest in the world but if you have the most scrawny arms you ain't lifting shit so you know I'm not benching 500 but you know it's kind of common sense but that felt really good other than Still getting a little pain here from arm wrestling. So when I lift the weight up, you can actually feel it compress on that, on those tendons here. So the wraps help big time for that last set. Again, use my code Diego15, 15% 15 off. Uh, again, Larry goes out of these things fast, especially during sales. Like, I have another Christmas sale. So wait till then, you might just save like a dollar if you use my code on top of the sale price. So 
Again, uh, these things are badass, man. They're, if you don't, I actually got a pair for my brother-in-law because he likes to bench. So for, for his birthday coming up, I'm gonna give him that. And again, they're pretty easy to put on, you know, it has a loop. Especially the newer ones, they're a little bit easier to put on because the Velcro don't catch. So, you know, you just throw it on. Make sure it's on the forearm, part of the elbow. You want to be around right here. But if you have an, uh, like another person doing it, make sure you pull all the slack out. If you're doing it, it's really hard to pull the slack out without kind of losing uh, the rapid coupe part. And you want to go behind. A lot of, uh, originally Larry said go behind the elbow, but I see a lot of people now doing it at the elbow. I still go behind to provide back pressure support. So it's like having tendons in the front of your forearm and then the back, your tricep. And man, when you when you can't even like compress it, that's that's how they work. So you know you're coming down, dude. This thing's gonna bounce right up. I've never used the slingshot, but it kind of plays the same shit. It's at the slingshot, you're like in a standard position. These, if you like to go way out, they might not help as much, but I like to go right where the knurling, with the grooves, with the indication marks on the Ohio power bar. That's what I got. So I'll go pinkies to that and then I'll be inside of the, the knurling. So it's more like a neutral bench, but again, you will lose circulation. Like my fucking arm is like just getting pumped right now. So as soon as you put these on, you gotta hit fucking bench. If you're just chilling around waiting for set, dude, when you get that shit up, you're gonna feel it and it's, and it's not gonna feel good. So this is like a quick thing, throw them on, Go fucking hit that shit. That's the end of this video. I'm actually done working out for now. Uh, week 11, a test sip. I'll be doing a review of the protein from Layer Wheels supplement supplement brand. Next video, whenever that shit comes in. And again, motivational purpose here, nothing crazy. So, but, you, but make sure you guys get a set of wraps, man. This shit. Elbow wraps, these, these help big time, man. Especially during sales, like 17 bucks for this. And if you go like, if you spend 75, you get like free shipping. So you might as well uh, get the freaking um, wrist wraps too and whatever other shit he's got. Get a belt if you don't have one. I don't use his belt, but I did get one for my brother. It just does the same shit, it's just a belt, you know. So, all right.